Good morning. It's Friday, May 31st, 2024. This is your Georgia WeatherNet morning update. Radar checks clear at 6.05 this morning. We do have some cloud cover over LaGrange, stretching up toward noon in south metro Atlanta. Those are some thicker clouds there in that part of the state and some high, thin clouds over parts of south Georgia. We see quite a bit more cloud cover out in Alabama, and we're going to talk about that. It's going to bring us some showers and thunderstorms to the state. Let's take a look at our temperatures as we get started this morning. Yes, cool once again. Dry air up in the north Georgia mountains. 48 degrees in Blairsville, Atlanta checking in at 66, Macon's at 57, as well as Statesboro, and already warm as we uh, are just past 6 a.m. down in southwest Georgia with those 70-degree readings over in Albany and then 70 over in Brunswick this morning. Severe weather outlook for tomorrow looks like this, and I won't be surprised if this changes a little bit. We do have a level 1 out of 5 severe weather risk in Alabama. That's the yellow color stopping just short of the Georgia state line. But again, this may get pushed a little bit more toward the east. We'll see what the Storm Prediction Center does with this today. But it looks like uh, those showers and thunderstorms moving in our way could cross the state line and possibly stay severe as they move into Georgia. But for right now, we're going to be clear of the severe weather outlook, at least for the next three days here in Georgia. But... We'll keep an eye on that through the day today, and if that changes, of course, I'll let you know. So let's take a look at the weather model as we move through the morning hours. Everything's pretty quiet today. We're going to start to see that humidity coming in from uh, from Alabama, the Gulf Coast, up in southwest Georgia, start to move a little bit more into the mid-state. So you'll notice a little more humidity in Macon today. Over in Swainsboro, going to feel just a little bit more humidity. And even up in north Georgia, still not going to be stifling, but uh, you'll notice a little difference uh, compared to the last couple of days. As we head into this afternoon, also pretty quiet. This evening, not a whole lot going on. Maybe a couple of showers could pop up in southwest Georgia with that humidity that I talked about and just a little bit of that uh, of uh, dynamic support to keep a couple of those uh, storms going late this evening and overnight tonight. And as we head into tomorrow morning, still a few showers, mainly in west Georgia. This is not the main line, but this is a little precursor to our frontal boundary that's pushing in. As we head toward 9 a.m., 10 a.m. tomorrow, we see it starting to creep in from Alabama. The rest of the state looking at a mix of sun and clouds tomorrow. Very slim chance of any rain east of I-75 tomorrow morning. But then west of I-75, we see that line starting to move in right around noon. So some of these storms will be strong to severe as they head toward Georgia. Should be losing some strength as we head into the early afternoon hours. But I'm still looking at the chance of some of these being pretty strong, especially from uh, Carrollton and then south all the way down to the Florida line, looking at the possibility of some strong straight line winds there. So we'll keep an eye on that tomorrow afternoon. And as we head toward 3, 4 o'clock, we see the uh, line starting to spread out, losing some intensity. And then magically, as it hits I-75, just starts to break apart as we move into tomorrow evening. But we will be seeing those showers pretty much anywhere across the state of Georgia, but especially South Georgia, as we move uh, through tomorrow evening and late tomorrow night. And then Sunday, we're going to go back to uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms. Looks like that's going to be kind of the weather pattern as we move in the next week as well. Temperatures will be climbing, more humidity. And we're back in that summertime pattern once again. That's the latest from the Georgia Weather Net. Now your local forecast from northwest Georgia to southeast Georgia.